I do have some healthy snack ideas for you guys. I think I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I eat to like try to maintain my weight and some drinks and things like that that I've been drinking and eating. These are some ideas to help you like not you know, majorly binge on junk food. Just some like snack ideas, cause I know we all want a snack. It's quarantine time, okay? It's snack time. But I don't have a lot of fresh produce, but I'm gonna go to the store soon and get a lot more fresh produce and like fruit and stuff. So that's obviously a snack that I love to snack on is like fruit. I don't have a lot of it right now. I just have more of like protein smoothies and stuff um, and like green juice. So they're not all like super, super healthy, like 100%, just better options than like Oreos and pizza all day. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know what else is gonna happen in this vlog. But let's find out together. So, some snack ideas. This is one of the first things that I bought. It's Skinny Pop White Cheddar, 43 calories per cup. It's gluten-free and non-GMO, no artificial ingredients, a nice snack. Clearly, you can see I love Belveda. I love the blueberry crackers, the soft-baked banana bread. Justin's honey peanut butter changed my life. I'm not even kidding. I have this like once a day on half a sandwich or I just like eat it out of the jar. I love peanut butter and their honey peanut butter is so freaking good. What is the sugars on this? Four sugars. I think it's probably a little higher because the honey, usually it's like three, but that's okay. It's like one gram. And obviously it's for two tablespoons. So that's actually really good. And it's just delicious. So really would recommend this. I found these at Target. This is gluten-free oatmeal. It comes in its own little serving. So you just heat it up in this thing and it tastes pretty good. It has flax and chia in it. it. Like this is great. This is a great, great breakfast and it will keep you full AF. It has 10 sugars. Kind bars are so good. People People stay sleeping on these. I have like three other flavors. Only five grams of sugar. It's all like natural. It's literally just like almonds and nuts with like a little bit of whatever holding it together. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not like your typical bar. It's more like nuts with like a little bit of like flavor. I don't know how to explain it. And it has protein in it. And I believe they're all gluten free. Yep, they're all gluten free. So I would say to have this if you're gonna be more active, like maybe going on a run or something around your neighborhood. Cause these do have like 15 grams of sugar, but they're so good. It's just basically pancakes in a cup but they're protein pancakes in a cup. There's 12 grams of protein, and yeah, this is good for probably like a workout for sure. This is so good. I found this on TikTok a few months ago and I had to try it out. And this is literally just frozen blueberries and oat milk mixed together to create like an ice cream consistency. So it kind of tastes like ice cream, but it's really, really healthy because it's literally just blueberries and oat milk. So this is great. I love this so much. You can have this for breakfast, dessert. It's fire. You can honestly add like a little bit of like almond creamer or something to it if you wanted a little sweeter but I love it like this okay this is frozen right now so you literally can't tell what this looks like get yourself some healthy choices if you haven't gotten healthy choices you can get them at any grocery store and I get the ones that are non artificial they're a little bit more expensive but they're to me better and more filling than the regular ones and there's nothing artificial in them this one has like chicken and veggies in it pretty much there's other ones with like chicken and potatoes there's linguine and I like the ones that have greens in them because I don't eat a lot of greens lately so I try to get them in this way there is quite a bit of sodium in these a little bit so let's move on to drinks real quick. I love Celsius. My favorite is the peach mango green tea. It's non-carbonated. It has healthy energy, accelerates your metabolism, and burns body fat. I love these, but I do not drink these when I have coffee too because that's just too much caffeine for me. It makes my heart honestly like race and get pains. Like I'm not even kidding. I'm very sensitive to caffeine and I love coffee. So this is perfect for workout. Obviously, this is great for pre-workout, but you know, I can kind of sip on these sometimes on days that I don't have coffee. These are really good and obviously help burn body fat and stuff. Lit discovery at Target protein infused water have you ever heard of this I found this at Target and I was like okay I have to have it because usually when you have protein with sugar they break down better and don't cause like fat as much like fat gaining it's actually better to have protein and sugar together and there's 10 grams of protein in this bottle this is amazing check this out it tastes so good it tastes like peach mango clearly you can see what my favorite drink flavor is I've been keeping naked juice on hand to kind of get in my greens and my fruits. And this one is Lively Greens. It's half the sugar, so that's really good. Um, there's only 26 sugars in this whole thing, but it has all your goodies in it. It has spirulina, alfalfa, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, wheatgrass, ginger root, parsley, garlic, and kale. And then for fruits, it has coconut, cucumber, apple, peach, orange, lemon, kiwi. Freaking love these. They're a little expensive. I think it's like $9 for four of them, if I'm correct. And these are just Ripple Nutrition 
Nutrition Chocolate Protein Shakes. There's 20 grams of protein in the whole thing. The purest plant protein on earth. So this is plant protein. This is not dairy. It's plant-based, dairy-free, nut-free. And Ripple is pretty freaking good. These aren't like the most amazing tasting things I have. They're really good. But I just drink them more for like the chocolate, you know, vibe when I'm feeling like I want some protein and some chocolate. And yeah, there's only, what does that even say? I can't see because I won't focus. Nine grams of sugar in this whole thing. 200 calories. It's basically possibly a meal replacement. I just kind of drink it like throughout the day though. I don't have it in like one sitting. I wanted to show you guys the vitamins that I use. Honestly, I think that they're very important. So these are the women's multivitamins. These are from Ollie. All of my vitamins are from Ollie, not sponsored by any means. You can get them at Target and I take two of these a day and it does give me way more energy. It makes me feel good. And yeah, this is just really good and healthy to have. I would highly recommend getting vitamins, especially during this time. You wanna keep your immune system up. You wanna keep your health up. Eating is so important to your health. Like you can get vitamins through foods and stuff like that, but it's always good to have these and to take them every day and just keep your body on like a consistent schedule of vitamins which is like so good so the ones that I take for my skin are the Ollie glowing skin ones these I do think have incredibly helped my skin like I think I'm looking kind of glowy right now and I'm wearing a extremely matte dry flaky foundation because it's the only one that I had <laughs> like that would work for my skin today it was the lightest one I had still kind of dark and it's still looking kind of glowy and like natural so I highly recommend these I've repurchased these twice and my woman's multivitamins the last ones that I use from Ollie is the Pro probiotic plus prebiotic. I tried to use these vitamins to basically help my skin because I was watching a video of this girl that I used to watch a long time ago and she had really really bad acne and she completely cleared it up with a lot of different things. She cleared it up by eating correctly and like all this stuff but she also mentioned how important prebiotic Callie really wants to go outside. I'm gonna let her out in like two seconds. How she really thinks prebiotics and probiotics are extremely important for your skin as well. And when you're trying to take a probiotic, it doesn't really work as well unless you take a prebiotic. So when I saw that Ollie had vitamins that were probiotic plus prebiotic, I was like, okay, this is lit. I need to try this. These do make my tummy ache a little bit. I would definitely be warned. So those are the vitamins that I take. Those are some of the foods that I get, honestly, pretty much all from Target. I love Target. I get everything at Target. I don't know what else to do right now. I really don't. I'm gonna go take my dog out, I think. She gets so excited to go outside. What is civilization like? Like, what is it like to be outside? I don't remember. I don't know her. I've never met her before. She loves watching the cars. She loves watching the cars. It's a favorite thing. Watch. She's just staring. <laughs> If this isn't the cutest thing, I don't know what is. So yeah, this is my life right now. I pretty much hang out all day with Callie. I do any work that needs to get done, any sponsors, make TikToks. So this is Callie Mae Jr. I still don't understand why we named her Callie Mae Jr. Seb came up with the Mae Jr. I came up with Callie pretty much. We went into Petco and we went in to get her some like cookie treats. Actually, when we went in here, the girl that worked there, like we looked at the turtles a little too long. So we went in to go like get Callie stuff, you know, but you know, we get sidetracked by the animals. It's okay. There's like lizards turtles all the cute things so <laughs> we always love seeing the turtles and so we just like stopped to look at the turtles real quick and we're just like oh how cute and then this lady comes up to us who works there obviously and the lady was like do you need help finding anything i was like no we're just looking and literally right as i said that she like cut me off and she was like we're actually practicing social distancing here so you need to come in and get what you need and then you need to leave like literally was so rude about it and like i totally understand but we looked at the turtles for like five seconds and they were like already on our ass about being in there that honestly scared me a little bit because it's just like dang like I have not ever been out in public where I've looked at a turtle real quick going to get my dog something and they've yelled at me for being in the store like it's just crazy you know it's like such a weird opposite flipped world right now it was really rude of her too and she like whispered under her breath as we walked away I was like bro we're just looking at the turtles there was probably like three people in the store total and none of them were near us anyways we <laughs> stood in line and everyone was standing six feet apart there was one person in front of us but then when we did get up there Seb donated to like the homeless pets or whatever I think it is um, when you go you can donate we donate every time and when Seb donated they gave us a card to write down our pets name because it was like our pet donated it was super super cute I thought that was such a cute idea instead of like you guys donating it's like your pet donating to other pets it's the first time we've ever like written her name out like <laughs> she's not Callie she's not Callie Kara she's not Callie Perry which is Seb's last name if you don't know that she's Callie Mae Jr. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
That Petco trip was interesting and it really showed what things are like right now. Like, it's just really scary. Just looking out right now, just everything seems dead. I don't hear anything. Like, it's quiet. Like, I know there's been quite a few cars on the road, but like at night now, it's it's quiet. It's really crazy. Also, to my Raven Festival people. How are we doing out there? How are we holding out? Because I never, ever, you know, I just thought like this stuff would always happen. Like I thought festivals would always happen. Everything would always run smooth. Nothing would happen. And it's just like such a reality check and it's really humbling. I've seen that word a lot, humbling. And I would totally describe everything that's going on that way for sure. It's just like really sad. And I think people are getting a pretty bad rap about, you know, wondering and hoping that EDC still happens. I don't put EDC or festivals or anything above everything that's going on right now. And I don't think a lot of people do either. Most people, if not all the people, I think it's just something that's giving people hope thinking, okay, maybe EDC could happen even if it happens in June, August, September. And if it had to be that everything is canceled this year and I didn't go to any raves, it is what it is. If it's gonna, be the best for everyone's health it is what it is things can get canceled whatever i'll be fine it's still sad it's not like we would ever put a rave over the priority of like the health of the world or ourselves honestly our families a lot of people i think including myself are holding out hope that this can get better and people can stop dying and we can just get everything back on track you don't want to hear about people dying like you don't want to hear about people hurting or unemployed like i want this all to get better just not for raves like just for everything, to get back to life, to get back to people being happy, to get back to people not being depressed and lonely, to get people back to making money. Like I want everything good to happen. And one of those things to me too is like festival season. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I'm gonna hold out hope that this can all be gone. And if it's not safe, the festival people aren't gonna hold it anyway. So the festivals are either gonna happen if it's safe or they're not gonna happen if it's not safe. It's not like they're gonna put on a show in the middle of people dying. It's not gonna happen. People need to understand that, respect that, and in the festival rave world and everything like the people will put it on if it's safe They will postpone it or cancel it if it is not safe and that is just the tea Everything's already pushed to the fall and EDC Las Vegas is kind of like the last one to get pushed But I have a feeling that they will push it. We all kind of feel that way I mean, it would be very soon for everything to start clearing up if we had the festival in the middle of May So I have a feeling it's gonna move to June or September and that's the case cool as long as everything's good We'll do it, you know, and I think everyone needs to chill out take everything day by day respect each other be nice to each other and stay the frick home because that's how we're gonna save lives. That's how we're gonna help the healthcare workers. That's how we are going to get this thing under control. I don't understand how people are not staying home. I, I don't understand. I'm used to it at this point. Like I'm loving it, I'm chilling. I don't mind at all. So it's just kind of crazy to me that like there's people out there that are not taking this seriously even now so let's all take this seriously let's all be responsible and let's get our lives back on track for the sake of everybody and ourselves a little positivity never hurt nobody but realisticness is obviously important in all of this and caring about everybody else and not just yourself that is honestly the number one thing is putting the health of everyone just as same as your own and your happiness like you know what i mean it's like everyone's equal right now we're all in this together and that's like exactly what they mean so that's my little spiel because i know i do have a lot of ravers and festival people that follow me let's just hope for the best but make sure we do what's right for the safety of everyone and the health of everyone and that's literally as simple as it is and i do understand that people that have already like lost jobs and can't afford to go on the trips now like i don't just everything just stresses my mind out it's just like heartbreaking i really hope the economy can get back on track and i pray that anybody watching this that's lost a job that you come into money and that you get a even better job than before if not just back to your regular job that you had right before i just i pray for all of you i want you all to be okay and be happy and thriving and we're all gonna get through this we are all gonna get through this i promise i promise and it hopefully is soon <laughs> look at the sleepy babies i love you i love you oh my god she likes the ear scratchy so much she's falling asleep <laughs> is this not chewbacca i love you my big baby